I come from a long line of New York Jews. I grew up in a world with synagogue, Hebrew school, bar mitzvahs. So it never occurred to me that I was passing. I wasn't pretending to be something I wasn't. I actually grew up believing I was white. Show us how you can stand on your side. Oh, that's terrific. How do you do that? We lived almost picture-perfect kind of life for a while. So when Lacey decided she was going to tell the story, I was a little nervous about it. If you look too closely at it, it didn't make any sense. So we found ways to see what we wanted to believe. I always looked at you like you looked black. To me, you're just like a Jewish kid who, I don't know. White people will think anything, <laughs> the crazy things. I'll know white people for a long time. Today's the day. We did it. It really is the power of denial. How the hell did anybody sort of not acknowledge this? It just seems like the 600-pound gorilla in the room to kind of just refuse to see it. When it came time to apply to college, I had to check a box. The only box I had ever known was white, so I just didn't check anything. And based off a photograph, I was admitted to college as a black student. And I was afraid of not being a part of the world that I had grown up in anymore. If I could have done my life differently, there were a lot of things I would have done differently, but in the end, not really. You know, the fact is, though, the fact is that whatever happened with you and Daddy and that inability to talk about things, that is what I carry on. Nobody talked about everything because it was all secrets. <laughs>